Welcome to the Red X series. Report, engage, decide. Featuring a presentation by Aruka Maloney representative Camille Robinson Rages. The right choice for TNT. TNM. My name is Camille Robinson Rages. I am the candidate for Aruka Maloney. I would like to talk to you today about the Ministry of Social Development and Family Services because that ministry is the ministry that cares for the most vulnerable in our society. Sometimes people forget that this ministry not only looks after individuals, but we also look after families. And as you know, the family is the basis on, upon which the society is built. So this ministry is the ministry that we have decided as a government is the one that shows you the amount of caring we do for the people of Trinidad and Tobago. That is the hallmark of the People's National Movement. People come first. A lot has been said about the Rowley administration not caring for people in Trinidad and Tobago. And clearly that is totally incorrect especially given the fact that since 2015, the Ministry of Social Development and Family Services is one of the few ministries that has had an increase in its allocation and in the number of people that we access. We have had the recent history with the last administration where they gave social development to anybody even people who didn't need it. And what we have done is made sure that we touch those who need it most. That is to say, the most vulnerable, the street dwellers, those who we call the indigent, those are people who are really at the base of our society. The senior citizens, those who are suffering from any kind of disability, and those who need the support of the state more than any other persons in Trinidad and Tobago. I'm saying that based on facts. When the last administration left us in the shambles that they left us in, we of Trinidad and Tobago determined that the PNM was the government to make sure that we can hold ourselves together once again. And we are saying to you, that we are sure that after I discuss this issue with you, you will make the right choice come August 10th. What was the situation in which we found ourselves when we came into government? There were two things. One, even though the last administration over their five year period had the largest budgets ever in Trinidad and Tobago, that is to say, over $60 billion per year for five years, they did not take care of the people of Trinidad and Tobago who were most in need. And why do I say that? When they left government, we had a situation where there were 115,000 people out of our 1.4 million who were accessing the social safety net we found that there were several people who were just on the outskirts of that net who were most in need and they could not access that at all. What we did was examine the net and we made sure that those persons who were just on the outskirts became able to access the social safety net that they needed. And from 115,000, we have moved that net to 200,000 people. 85,000 more people can now access the social safety net. The social safety net, even under circumstances where we have had to contract, but we made sure that those most in need are being taken care of. We took the responsibility and we took the initiative that would allow them to 
access these grants throughout Trinidad and Tobago. So whereas the last government, they had the largest budgets over the last five years, they left us in a situation where only 115,000 people could access the grants. But the PNM, because we care, because we understand that people come first, we have added 85,000 new persons to the Ministry of Social Development and Family Services, and these persons can all access the grants. As we increase the number from 115,000 persons accessing the social safety net to 200,000 persons accessing this net, we have done so in every band of need. So with regard to our senior citizens' pensions, we have increased the qualifying income to $5,500 per month. And what has this done? This has meant that we now impact an additional 30,000 elderly persons immediately. And we have brought thousands within our reach who would not normally have been assisted. We are ensuring that our senior citizens and our elderly are well taken care of. With regard to the public assistance grants, we have increased this grant throughout all the bands that have been established. And what do I mean by that? Where there is a household with just one person, that person now receives $1,300 per month. Where there are two persons in the household, that household now receives $1,550 per month. Where there are three persons in the household, that household now receives $1,750 per month. Where there are four or more persons in the household, that household now receives $1,900 per month. But you may ask the question, how many people have we been able to give this type of assistance? And effective 2019, we have impacted 26,800 persons by this increase. This increase was not only done for the public assistance grants, but it was also done for the disability assistance grant. The disability assistance grant was increased at all levels by $200. And so those persons have been able to get an increase of $200 on what they were getting before. And by this, we now impact 24,700 people. And let me say, I repeat, that we are now impacting children who are disabled. And that is a clear sign that this administration cares about the people of Trinidad and Tobago at all levels. What about the issue with disaster relief? And when I say disaster relief, I repeat, it's not just flooding. It could be a fire. It could be any disaster in which a family finds itself. With regard to this, last year alone, we were able to help 10,600 persons. Think of it, ladies and gentlemen. If it were not for the caring of this government, we would not have been able to help those persons who, when disaster struck, they were able to look to their government to ensure that they could be taken care of. The caring hands of a government that cares for all the people of Trinidad and Tobago. So when those who oppose us come to us and say that this administration does not care about people, rubbish that because it is totally untrue. We have increased the amount that people get on a monthly basis and we have increased the number of people who get assistance every single month from 115,000 to 200,000 people. 
But what is the case with the food card program? With regard to the food card program, when we came into office, doing more with less, the food card was on average $430 per month. What did we do? We recognized that if you looked at the basket of goods that people need to access to get proper nutrition monthly, $430 was just not enough. And so we increased that number to $510 for one person on the food card. That was for one to three persons who got the food card. For four to five persons, that is a family of four to five persons, we increased the value of the card to $650. For a family of six or more persons, we increased the value of the card to $800. Isn't that a government that cares about the people of Trinidad and Tobago? And how many people did we impact by these increases? We impacted 29,000 people and families were beneficiaries of these increases. But then COVID struck and it meant that we had to immediately make sure because the concern of the population was food and they needed to ensure that no person went hungry. And what did we do? Because we were giving a food card, we were able to ensure that persons who were already on the system could get their food through the card. And we gave $150 for three months immediately for families of one to three, $300 for three months for families up to five persons, and $500 for three months for families, six and more persons. And this meant that we impacted over 50,000 more people with assistance for food support, food cards and other types of food support for the people of Trinidad and Tobago. As we have tried to ensure that the people of Trinidad and Tobago can best access the help that they need, we found as a government that there was almost a wall of bureaucracy, that there were so many forms that people had to fill out that it was more daunting than helpful. What was there was a system where for each grant you had to access a different form. You had to fill out a different form. You had to provide different information. And it was very frustrating for many persons who needed to access the system. What did we do? We, as we are caring and wanting to ensure that those who needed the most assistance got that assistance, we streamlined the system. We ensured that rather than having several means tests for the different grants, there is one standardized means test. Now, some people have jokingly said that the means test previously was a mean test and meant to exclude persons. What have we done? We have ensured that there is a standardized test and we now ensure that those who need it most can in fact get the test done and they can access what they need. Once you qualify through this test, you can access any social program and you no longer have to fill out all those forms. The other thing that we did with regard to senior citizens was with regard to the certificate that they need to present every six months that is no longer necessary and you can access your grant without that certificate. We consolidated the food card program within the social welfare system. And so when you come, once you qualify through the means test, even if you don't access the grant at that time, 
once we understand that you are in need, you get a temporary food card in order to ensure that you can put food on your table. And so we care, we care for the people of Trinidad and Tobago. You have been fed a consistent diet of being told that this government does not care. I have shown you by my conversation with you today that that is totally untrue. But that is not strange for those who are opposed to us. When last did they tell you anything that was true? And we are sure that that is how they will continue when August 10th comes. And that is why you, the people of Trinidad and Tobago, must make the right choice. This administration has done more than any other government to show what is important as a government. Because if your people are not cared for, nothing you do will ever be right. Nothing you do will ever be right. And that is why throughout our five years in office, we have ensured that we have spent over $23 billion on the social safety net. Let me repeat that. $23 billion spent on the social safety net, keeping the most vulnerable in Trinidad and Tobago whole. And that is caring. That is caring, ladies and gentlemen. Not pretending that you care. That is actual caring, that people feel, that people feel in their heart, that people feel in their belly, ladies and gentlemen. We continue to be a caring government. We will continue to protect you. We will continue to protect all the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. We will protect you from this crisis. We will continue to pay attention to your needs and we will respond accordingly. We have done it right. We did it right before COVID because make no mistake, we spent that $23 billion even before COVID. So we were doing it right. We did it right before COVID. We have done it right during COVID. And make no mistake, we will continue to do it right for you because we care about all the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. We have shown through what we have done that we want to make sure that you are kept whole. You who are vulnerable, you must be taken care of by the government of Trinidad and Tobago. But we also want to assure you that come August 10th, when you vote for the PNM, when you make the right choice, that after that, we will continue to care for you, we will continue to protect you, and we will continue to ensure that your needs are well taken care of. I ask you, vote solidly for the People's National Movement because those who are opposed to us can never, ever do what we have done. We saw what they did between 2010 and 2015. They almost destroyed your beloved Trinidad and Tobago. You do not want to go back there. You do not want to go back there. What you want is a caring government who shows its caring and continues to pay attention to your needs and responds accordingly. The PNM is the right choice.